Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to keep this intro super short and sweet, but Chloe Tang has been blowing up on YouTube for like the last year or so and everybody seems to be doing her challenges. So I went ahead and I tried out her two week shred challenge. Just a reminder that I am being super vulnerable. I am filming my body and putting it on the internet at a time where I feel very uncomfortable in my own skin. So I just ask that you guys are kind in the comments down below. Now, let's see how this challenge went for me. I don't look fab today. Um, I did not get a lot of sleep and honestly I wanted to show this because I want to show like my demeanor and I'm definitely not in a great place mentally. I've been emotional, eating, not sleeping very well. I have no energy, no motivation. My skin is really bad. Um, I'm super irritable, so I've been like picking a lot at my zits, picking at my ear to the point that it's been bleeding. Like, I'm just really struggling right now and there's so much going on that you don't have control over so i want to take these next two weeks and just take control of what i can and that is what i put in my body and how i move my body and i'm hoping by the end of this to just feel better and like kickstart going on the right path i think anyone can do anything for two weeks with this two week shred i've seen a lot of people not move much on the scale but have seen dramatic differences in how they look so if i don't lose a bunch of weight i'm not going to feel discouraged or like this was um, a waste of time i'm just going to take it for what it is and try to focus on how i feel when i look in the mirror and how i feel just physically and that's where we're at when I've done Chloe Ting in the past I've never done her warm-up routine or her do this after workout um, videos I don't even know how long they are but because I have a decent amount of time it says today's like 38 minutes um, I'm gonna do the warm-up <laughs> The warm up has me really tired. <laughs> um, thought maybe like the warm up was gonna be like stretching and stuff like that. So I don't know. I might forego the warm ups in the future, but we'll see. I'm gonna do. Now I have three to do. I have workout to lose weight, abs in two weeks. Legs and glutes. I'm pretty sure I've done this day one before. So I know it's gonna be killer. Got on my leather jacket. Day two, new nails. Who this? is on fire i'm so sore my legs my butt so honestly i am really nervous about how today's gonna go i probably should have done like the cool down yesterday stretch it out oh well what can you do let's go oh girl you know i feel like james dean got you hot cow cool chicks yeah, girl, I'll be a quick fix song. Okay, I'm done. Oh my gosh, I am literally a tomato. I told you guys I would do the cool down today to try it out and see if I think it's necessary. Cool down is 15 minutes. That is a long time for a cool down. So I'm already not a fan, but I'm going to do it anyways for research. <laughs>
Chloe, my four-year-old says your workouts are too hard. Four videos today. You know Three of them are out. You know why feel like He's trying to kill me. You know why feel like James Dean? Week one is over. I did not eat as well this weekend as I had hoped. Still feel really good. Just doing like a little mental check-in for myself. Weight-wise, I have gone down. So I think I've lost two pounds, two or three pounds since the beginning, which I'm pretty happy with uh, for a week. That is good. So this is me just normal pushing out. It doesn't go out much. I definitely still have like my baby C-section pouch, um, which this is like the part that I feel the most self-conscious about and I'm hoping to get rid of. The workouts are a little bit longer than I would like. Um, I think today's 45 minutes and you know when it's just me at home like right now 45 minutes is totally fine, but when you're trying to keep a toddler entertained, it gets a little bit long. I tend to like the half hour workouts. Um, those just feel easier to accomplish for me, but it is what it is. It's only two weeks ago, one week left. I can do it. I have one rest day this week. Um, so looking forward to that. <laughs> And yesterday was a rest day, so coming back from a rest day is always like the hardest for me. Which is why I think I've been putting it off. Like it's like noon now and I like to get my workouts in at about 9, 10. So I haven't even eaten lunch yet or lunch or breakfast or anything. Um, I like to work out fasted, but I am definitely hungry. So I want to get this done with so that I can eat. <laughs> oh my gosh, today I don't have to start with... Uh, okay. workout to lose weight I get to do full body burn which is a new one and so I like new ones I'm excited oh my gosh this video is 26 minutes long how long is this workout Well, that means I only have Friday, Saturday, Sunday left. I No part of me wants to work out right now. No part of me. Today is a long workout. It's 50 minutes. Um, yesterday was a rest day. However, I did do a 40 minute like treadmill run walk sequence. I thought working out on my rest day would like make me still want to work out today and I just don't. Like I'm here, I am ready, I have my shoes on and I am just procrastinating. But just cause the motivation isn't there doesn't mean the discipline isn't there. So I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna try hard. <laughs> That is it guys, my two week challenge is complete. Honestly, this is the first fitness challenge that I have ever completed in my entire life, which is huge for me. Again, it's not about motivation but it's about the dedication and the discipline 
And so I finally buckled down and completed a challenge. And I think if you're like me and you struggle with getting into a fitness routine, a two-week challenge is the perfect starting point. Once you complete like a two-week challenge, you kind of feel like you can do anything. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I have seen so many of these Chloe Ting challenges and people's before and afters, but I told myself that I wasn't going to compare and that if by the end of this two-week challenge, I didn't see physical difference, I didn't see weight loss specifically, I wasn't going to get discouraged. I'm sticking to that. To lose weight in a healthy way and keep it off, you don't want to see a dramatic weight drop in just two weeks. That's just the reality of it. Having lost uh, a few pounds, total I think I lost like four, maybe five pounds, and then after the challenge I was working out really well consistently and I lost another two after that so I'm in a really good place I definitely still go up and down on the scale which is completely normal but overall I'm just trying to take this challenge and focus on how I feel and if you see me at the beginning of this video you can see my demeanor you can see how tired I look. Obviously I'm wearing makeup now, but my skin is so much better. I really am just taking care of myself all around and I feel amazing. I looked in the mirror and was like, you know what? You're sexy. And those are things that I do not typically tell myself. So my opinion of the Chloe Ting challenge is overall, I think it was great. A good starting point not too difficult that if you're a beginner you feel like quitting but definitely challenging a thousand percent there were moves I couldn't do moves I had to modify what I didn't like about the challenge is the repetition I'm just somebody that does a lot better with new workouts every single day and that's just kind of how I am that's not to say that it's not effective because it, it is. I would a thousand percent do Chloe Ting's challenges in the future. I think the biggest thing is you have to love what you're doing. And I personally like weightlifting is what I've always kind of been drawn to, which is hard to do at home. You know, I would much rather be at a gym, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We're still in quarantine here. Gyms are not open. So I just, I feel like I'm on the right path. I'm excited for where I'm going. Just to feel good in my own skin. So it's not always about what the scale is showing. It's truly about how you feel inside. I would strongly encourage you to give Chloe Ting's workouts a try. I'm just really excited for the future. So thank you guys so much for watching, for visiting my channel. Please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. And if you like these kind of fitness video challenges, trust me, I'm gonna do more. So if you want me to film them, let me know and I will be happy to do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.